thought I saw. Oh, oh, Ron. Oh, my God. It's a steelhead. Oh, Ron. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, it's a big one, Ron. Oh, oh, he's strong. He's strong. I think he's legal. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Booyah. Legal steelhead, baby. Well, now, I ran into another angler in between the time I fished on the... snapped the bike back. I think I'll switch to silver in a bit, and I might even size down a hair. a fish. Well, I'll stick with gold then. I'm not going to harvest many fish today. If I injure one, I'll take it, but and if it's legal, of course, I'll take it. This fish is legal. But he is just hooked right here in the jaw. Looks like a 12 inch brown though. I'll double check. Just for sanity's sake. And yeah, he's 12 right on the dot. And I think that's what we'll find a lot of here. <laughs> he's a little baby. Can't tell if it's a brookie or brown yet. Looks like a brown. Just a little baby brown. Just a little guy by the lip. Some pretty distinctive spots on that guy though. There he goes. That's a nice brown. Definitely be a keeper, but he's not injured, so we're gonna let him go. I'm really not interested in harvesting fish. I've got a couple in the freezer, but here's a nice. That's a it's a 14 inch brown for sure. Yeah, 13 and three quarters. Nice fish. There he goes. Well, maybe this was the right choice today. Shebs is coming. I don't know where he'll be. This is a nice 16 inch brown though. He is not injured, but he is stuck. brown. That fish is 16. All right, 16 inch brown. Pretty nice for today. size. Real pretty fish though. Whoa. Whoa, come on you. Real pretty fish though. Ten incher. So I'm in the back of the hole. Now I'll try and scale up it a little bit there. I really like this front timber edge here. 
Yep. What do we got? Did get a brookie finally? Not yet. That's a brown. There will be some brook trout in here. Oop, and there he goes, just a small brown. A little brown again. Ah, there's a nicer brown. Unless it's a brookie. And that is a brookie. We got the first brookie. Not a huge one. One hook in the bottom of the mouth. But a gorgeous brook trout. Gorgeous little brookie. Just a small brownie. Oop, and there he goes. Not an eight incher. There's a fish. baby brown cool spots nice looking fish hitting silver so silver nine works too a little better brown not much Is closer to 10 or 11. Silver halos and red dots. What a cool looking fish. If I start, well, and as I say, if I start seeing fish shy away, I'll go back to it. But that's not the case already. We got a little puce, lily puce, and hitting that one. And you get all three hooks. When that happens, it's usually the bottom jowl hook that comes out first. And then those others come out easy, and that is what happened there. Just a little brown. There's a fish. Second brookie. Yeah, another pretty little brookie. Pretty fish. Ooh. Nicer fish. Just a little brown. Just hanging out right under that log there. So I've definitely had a stringer a couple of times now already that I could have kept. This is another 12 inch brown. And this would be a great eating size, but like I said, I'm not interested in keeping today. Pretty fish. Yeah. And I think 
think was a fish. Another little brown rated about 11. Dark, dark fish. Another brown, I think. Can't tell yet. Oh, this is a... Uh, a nice bricky. Could catch a nice bricky in here. This guy's got a really cool pattern to him and the uh, Big mouth on that guy, just a big giant maw on that guy for the size of that fish. He's about 10 and a half, 11 inch brookie. Maybe, maybe 11 and a half. Another brookie. Same size. One hook in the bottom jaw. Oh, there he goes. Sorry. What a 10 inch rookie. Super small fish. There's a crazy brookie. This one's super colored up. So I'll work it off a of hair. Turn it, that was the best looking brookie so far. And um, he squirmed out of my hand, folks. And a damn thing I can do about that. And that is the hospitable chirp of a red winged blackbird, folks. Yeah. Very small fish. This is brown now. Red winged blackbirds hate people. No doubt about it. Gotta be close to his nest somewhere. Hates us. Absolutely hates people. They will dive bomb you if you get too close. Ooh. There's a nicer fish if it's a brookie, but it's probably a brown. And yes, it is a brown one. And now he's wrapped up. There's another 12 inch brown though. Brown, yeah, right at 12, I'd say maybe 12 and a half. 
Okay, so what's happening is batteries are getting too hot and they're dying out in about a half hour. Um, so I've switched off a 4K and now we'll have some limitations in what we can do with um, slow-mo and other stuff. But I'm, just not, I'm not gonna keep switching batteries every 10 minutes and then going back to the other and switching back and around and back and around. Because that's what you have to do with the GoPro. Anybody who tells you the GoPro d doesn't overheat is either lying or a lot of biters there. Lion, I think I'm gonna move up. Lion or they don't shoot continuously like I do. And if you think you can hit the record button whenever you get a fish, you're wrong. You can't it can't be done like that. At least not well. You lose just a ton of footage if you um, plan that way. Were a couple of fish in there. There's one. Brown trout in the rip. Or is that a brookie? That's a brookie. Brookie in the rip. Yeah, nice brookie. Real pink belly on that one. Re super red fins. Yeah, cool bricky. Crazy. Looks like a bricky. It is. It's quite a few brickies here. And hence you can see with the rationale for the tiger because where brookies and browns live together, that's where you get tigers. Another just stop sign red, iridescent red fins. Beautiful brookie. Ah, that guy got off. I think that was a brown that time. Nobody a third time. Get the spot in front. There's the nicer one. It's a brown. inch brown wow geez they're uh they're active folks they're sorry can't get you a picture of everything I've, i'd like some of the worst luck with hookings this past week. Beautiful brown though. Little fish.
All right, so I just got off the phone with Shebs. He's about a half hour, 15 minutes away, and I'll see him at the out here. He's off. Little Brookie. Okay, folks, that'll be it. We'll see you with Shebs in a little bit for Plan B. Yeah. yeah, it's got some stain to it, doesn't it? Yep, definitely more stain than upper. There you go. Shark set. Nice little brownie. Yeah, yeah. 12 incher, just about. Okay. Those fish are biting. There's a nice fish. Nice brown. Well, I'm not keeping one now. It's definitely a 13 though. Yeah. Solid. On the bottom, man. Slow. Well, it continues, folks. Hot bite, hot bite. Oh boy, he's got some iridescent orange on the belly. On the belly. <clears throat> I'm going to try to size him down. Too many nips. Oh, it's a 12 incher. Ah, there he is again. <laughs> Sucker. Dragged it. Slow. Super slow. Let them work it off a bit. Get my hand wet. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Just a little brownie, about ten and a half. rounds for a turkey though. Oh, yeah. Little brown amidst the gunfire. <laughs> Look at this guy. Erosion prevention. <laughs> yeah, I've cautioned people when uh that was a drop hit. when uh is that, is that a tiger? That was a brookie. When um trout season intersects firearm season. It's best not <laughs> armed. <laughs> But in this case, oh, there's a decent one. Small still, but better. That one hit on the drop. He was hooked up before I even had the bail closed. Around. Yeah, a little better fish. I think we're well past the trash line now. A 
11 inch brown. Might be 12. It is 12, just barely. Ah, there he goes. Sorry, no good pick. There we go. Another one. Alright. I think it's settled. It's a little bit away. Pounded that one. What's that? He pounded that. Yeah. That is 12. Tasty. I think I am going to keep one to eat, but I don't think I'm going to keep one yet. We still have hours of walking. Yeah, we got a long way to go. Hours of walking to go. Not to mention, I could probably stop at any bridge on this river and catch a 12 incher right there from the car window. There's a nice one. Jeez, buddy. Come on. What are you doing? You think it's you're going to get the away? Side of the face. Oh, I don't think so. Nice one there. That is a nice one. Oh, you got him in the eyeball. That's why. Did I? That muddy water. Oh no. He's on the, the outside though. Just under the eyeball. Oh no. What would you call that? The, outside? The jaw. Yeah. I just saw his eye. Yeah, he's, not, he's, he's not too bad. He's poking in the eyeball a little bit there. I think he did it. Whoa. That was a nice 14 and a half there. There you go. A fish. Hmm? There's a fish in there. A couple of them. There was another one about that size. Oh, one the That's a perfect one. Yeah, right there. sure, that is. That is a nice one. Done shooting yet, huh? Got him. Hit the run to the hardware store for more ammo. <laughs> this size fish, you don't necessarily have to bulk. It's a lot easier to carry him than it is a uh, 10 pound coho. 10 pound coho. <laughs> Three hooks. Did 
Just a little baby brown. That was a fish attached to this fish. Yeah. Did you just see that? I did see that. I wonder if it was a pike. Check out the it looked any, like it. Check out any teeth marks. It looked like a pike. Just you'd, you'd have teeth marks on that fish if you did. You'd have pokes. And there's no pokes, so it's mm. abrasion. It's a nice size brown. Yeah. Eating another brown, which is kind of trying place. to pull the fish off my fucking hook. Crazy. I have never seen that. You before. don't see that every day. You, sir, are lucky. I wonder if it was a bass. Well, we'll be able to tell. We have caught bass in here before. Yeah, no, we would be able to tell on the video. It looked yellow-bellied, though. Yeah, it, it, it was long, like a pike. I saw a yellow belly. I thought it was a decent-sized brown, like a 16-inch brown. But I don't know. That was a fish attached to this fish. Yeah. Did you just see that? I did see that. Yeah, it might be this corner right here. That little grassy point. Oh, there's a little baby. Is it a brookie? Yeah, it is a brookie. Nope. No, just a little brown. A little baby brown. And again, up here, not a stalker. No. No, this part's class one. This is not yep. stock. Yep. Natural fish. Extra one of those? I might. Sure that got in here, but... Little brown. It's just on its last fucking legs. It's not spinning good. I might have another one in my pack somewhere. I think I probably burned through all the sixes I've been oh, really? fishing for the last three springs. A little stock panthers. Laying around for so long. Yeah, I do have one. I like these too. They cast really well. Check that hook though. If I left it in here, it should be sharp. That, I think, might have been before your accident. 2017. No, it wasn't. You come off that timber on the left? Yeah. No, no, that was definitely before my accident, that first yeah. that first tiger, yeah. What we got here? Another little brown. Oh, brown. Thought it was a tiger. For fuck's sake, it's my turn. We already got two this year. Don't hate the game, not the player. <laughs> oh, I'll hate both. Little brownie. I'll hate both. Coming <laughs> in the riffle? Yep. Small brown. Another cute brown though. Beautiful fish. Oh, 
There's a decent fish. Cutting one, I might as well cut two. Oh, he's not getting off. <laughs> he's got no two chance. in the corner. It's like around the bone. Oh yeah, another nice fish. Just in case he gets a little, gets a little squirrely. Yeah, another solid fork. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, I thought I stuck you. Yeah. Glad it didn't. I've been up there. That's weird because up there it's usually real. Hard. Yep. No. Nope, ripping. The rapids were like borderline fall and bust your ass dead. Oh shit. Yep. Like that. There's a nice one. Yeah, that guy hit like a ton of bricks. He's dark, huh? Yeah, he must come out from under the timber. Yeah, real dark one. <laughs> well, there's a little guy. Yep. Got him on the chin? Yep. Little baby brown. That's about the most common size we've had here today, is about that size. If anything, it's a little bigger than the average. There's a lot of little babies today. Nice. Double. Double. Timber smash. Double. Woohoo! You picked them off the front side of that log. Yep. This one came off the back Oop. side. That one's gone. Yeah, that's a nice one. 13 easy. Baby. Another double? Another double. Wow, two doubles. <laughs> well, that's a <laughs> this is like bars. it's like a single and a half. Ooh, this got one of those ripped up the chin gill. Oh, deformity? What's that? Deformity or the hook? Oh, no, you know how when you hook them on the chin sometimes and all three trebles end up inside the gill plates? Yeah. They get all fucked up. Ah. Double. Double, double. <laughs> Still all browns, though. Okay. I like this. Maybe a little evening bite. I'm two in a row. Come on, three casts in a row, let's do it. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> this guy getting real. Fucking that thing? No, he just got stuck in a bad way. Not bleeding. Pretty little brown. Be happy. You're not going with your buddies. Yep. <laughs> A lot of little fish now. Still browns.
wild how once we size down to six we've got to more bites to six yeah more more bites. bites definitely uh you know in the beginning they were hitting them but not and, th up. and then they weren't yeah. yeah getting a lot of nips but not a lot of hookups yep Let's see if we still got a big fish in here though biting Ooh, nice one Yep, there you go. My nipper. There you go. There's a nice one. We'll do her. Two browns on the stringer. I think I'll be having some fine dinner tonight. Caught a couple of fish right away in the beginning. Then it kind of lulled. We sized down. Jeez, another 30. If you count the nippers, I don't even know what number that would be. <laughs> a lot of nippers, a lot of nipping fish, but hey, no crowd. Managed to not have opener claustrophobia. Hmm. Yeah, I think a lot of people saw all the rain and just stayed home. Yeah, I do too. I definitely think that. Which means that there'll probably be extra crowd next weekend. In force. Yeah, usually the first two, three weekends. When the pandemic started, it was even a little worse. Yeah. But usually... Um, usually once the bugs come out and the weeds get high... Yeah, I mean, you can forget about a Saturday or Sunday morning unless you want to get up before sunrise to get to the spot first because they'll be in the most popular places. We tend not to go to the most popular places anyway, but you certainly won't be able to do those. And in water conditions, some stuff, sometimes like most popular stuff was the only stuff that would fish this weekend. So... But yeah, plenty of uh, fish bite here. I think this stream looks improved. Um, see what it looks like when the water level comes back. We'll down, have to but... see. The water is definitely high here. And I had a, I was upstream about a mile and a half and um, it was rocking there. And that just might've been the difference between afternoon, early afternoon and yeah. late afternoon bite. And we had a surge there. Yeah. They definitely started coming the hard. And then it sort of died off again. Yeah. Well, as always, though, folks, thanks for watching and happy fishing.